Hello and welcome to another one of these videos regarding the magazine cover design using InDesign. Um, for this video, as you can see, we're not actually talking about the magazine cover. We're going to talk about the contents page. And we're actually looking at Word. I'm only using Word because I've just dumped some screenshots in there. I'm not going to use uh, InDesign at all in this video. What I'm going to talk about is how I want you to approach this particular element of the design. Don't forget this is this particular assessment task requires a magazine cover, which you should have completed by now, and then a contents page, and then the editor's letter. So this is about the contents page. So what I've done is I've pulled some screenshots in of different ways to approach this. What I don't want you to do is, I don't want you to go too, hmm, what's the one of a better phrase, too exotic. Um, I want you to keep it relatively simple, but there are different ways you can approach relatively simple and when i say relatively simple it doesn't mean to say it has to be a poor design so let's start with these first two here so we've got two examples here first thing to notice is um on this one uh, there's use of the words content on this one there's not actually use of the words content at all so you don't have to actually put that word in if you don't want in fact this has just got a repeat of the the front cover or the the magazine title as it were um, so you could do that. Um, and you could also use uh, words like features, cover story, those kinds of things if you want in there. But what I want you to focus on really with these two is these are examples of using a large image and then placing uh, text over the top of that or placing text around that. So the large image dominates the page. So you could use a large image, like a large stock image, and then you could work around that. So in this case, they've worked around that by putting things above the image and then using actually the image itself to denote certain aspects. That may work for you. And then they've used these, these bits inside the image, quite cute. May work in certain aspects and may not work in others. They've also got a call out there and a, another special office type thing, um, similar to what we did on the front page. On this one, um, they've actually made the image more dominant by bringing it to the front and then going behind it in certain aspects then again um using like using sort of a call out sort of um idea with a quote there um and then a page which is that that's on then as i said they've, they've used this subheading of features here to list certain things and then a cover story here so that gives you an idea of what you could do there um I'm not sure if you've already put this sort of information, the date and the issue number in on the front cover. I don't think you'd need that again. But um, that gives you an idea of having that, uh, having with both of these, having a major image that dominates that contents page and then working around that. So the way I would work with that is if you think if you're thinking that's the way you want to work, I would get the image that you're going to use. You go, yeah, really, I, I fancy that sort of idea. Get the image, bring it onto the page and then try and work around it with the contents. Because at this at this point in time, you don't know what your contents are. You're just really making them up. So you can you might want a lot or you might not want uh, uh you know, an extensive amount of contents and features. You're going to have to have a certain amount, otherwise it won't look like a contents page. But this one here only has one, two, three, four, five, six, and this one here, probably seven different things that are listed as opposed to that one, which is over 10. So, but if you only had a couple of things, then it's not a contents page. So you get the idea is if you get the image, then you can see how it dominates the page and work from there and then work around it like this or like that. So that could be ways forward. You could have an idea, go look for an image and so on. Remember, it has to be copyright free. So there's one idea. Now, these two here um, are, in fact, these. Mm, yeah, let's just work around these two. These two, um, they look at the idea of having images down the right hand side and then the more traditional columns. This is two columns and one column um, of contents on the left or text on the left. With this one here, again, they haven't used the word contents. With this one, they have. Uh, this one, they say what's inside. So that could be another approach you have. And you don't forget, you've got this idea of the colors being used as you had in there. That was the purple from the food magazine we saw. So you'd want to bring in some of the colors you got from uh, your swatch that you created. Um, with this one, they've used um, this familiar shape and repeated that. So you've got some good repetition there. This pink, really, there's actually a pink box behind all those articles. So the, they've, they've um, 
you know, created some um, bizarre shapes from these or offset them inside and outside the box. But there's actually a box behind that, a pink box, and then that pink is used here and here, and then there's a yellow colour going on there. I would argue that that yellow is a bit rubbish, really, in terms of contrast with the white bit here. But you've got some idea there of how you can list things. Um, this one here is probably a bit more classic in its design. Um, but yeah, there's two different versions there of putting images down the right and then um, text on the left. With these ones here, this one follows a similar thing, but you're getting larger image there, larger images that you're using. So that could be another idea. And then this one here, yeah, it's got some, some images on the left and some images on the right. Um, whereas this one, this is a bit more ad hoc in the way that the images are coming across the page. So that could be another idea. Um, these are getting much busier, especially the L one here. You've got a lot of content to get in there. So you're gonna to have to come up with a lot of story titles if you're gonna do something as extensive as that. Um, and then this one here is your classic sort of, um, more familiar to see sort of in web design where you've got a main feature image and then you've got the sort of text that goes that wraps around it as it were with those ones there. So they, they give you some ideas of the sort of ways you can approach this. So I want you to think in one of three different ways. You're either going to do a main image that's going to dominate the page. You're going to do um, right aligned images or you're going to do a bit more ad hoc like this. Um, if I was you, I really wouldn't go for the L type things unless you can come up with a lot of stories. I would let um, pictures take up more room of this. Perhaps in this one here, the images take up a bit too much room. But uh, yeah, that's the sort of ideas to put forward and how you can um, create a content page. It's relatively simple, not too time consuming, but actually it does a good job. Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye.